Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 31st, 2021. Well, those bulls really pushed another day yesterday, pushing really, really hard, and I suspect there's a pretty good chance that we could see them push right in through the end of the month. But there are a couple issues out there to just kind of be paying attention to today. So how about we settle into our office chairs, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Um, I want to make a quick apology. This uh, video is going to be just a little bit later than normal, and there will be no blog this morning. I had a internet outage this morning and was not able to do anything until just a few moments ago. So I, rushing in to get this video done this morning, I thought I might have a chance. I wouldn't even be able to do that. So bear with me and let's take off here and take a look at what's going on. So if we look over these charts here, we had a really strong day yesterday in the SPY and the QQQ. Big tech was the story yesterday. And as you can see here in the chart in the Dow, we're continuing to run up in this trend. You can also see that we're starting to wedge this price action in here just a little bit. And I do worry um, that our SPY and QQQ are getting way too stretched out here in the market. But notice yesterday we had a little tiny pullback here in the Dow, and we're seeing just a little teeny tiny bearishness here this morning in the chart. But I suspect there's going to be a pretty good effort by institutions to maintain this market in through the end of the month. We'll have to wait and see, but right now looking pretty good. Now, if we do pull back, keep in mind, we do have some price support here in this area of the chart that could hold us. And I think as long as we hold in that price support area, um, we're in pretty good shape. If we start to slip below that area, that's where we're going to challenge um, this next level of price support and that trend. And that's where it might get a little bit nerve wracking and a little bit of a white knuckle ride if we push down that far, because then we run that threat that we could drop out of here. Now, one of the things that's important about that is if that were to occur, that creates a lower high in the Dow, and that could be a little bit of a problem. But remember, we're going to have to break the low of that big black candle right there for us to be looking like um, we're going to um, start dropping below. So right now, pretty good shape here. And if all we do is consolidate sideways, if all this does is just kind of rest along here, consolidate in here, I would say there's no bearish problem here in the market just yet. That would be a bullish pattern to the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY just unbelievably bullish here in the market, continuing to rally, 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 rally. And you can see here that we are becoming a bit stretched out. There's that there's that trend level in the downside, but let's take a look and draw across the trot top up here. Notice that we're actually breaking through the top side of that trend line, which really is pushing us a little bit high here um, and a little bit out of shape. So you can't rule out the possibility pushing up through this area that we could see a little bit of profit taking. But with the end of the month, I have to believe that the bulls are going to do everything they can to continue to hold that unless there's something news wise that really changes that. And notice we have a pr little price support right through here. Any rest or pullback that holds us above that would be absolutely no harm at all in that chart. And if we were to pull back into here, that's where we get just a little bit more pressure here to the market. A pullback into here would not hurt us unless we were to break below and close below that dark candle right there. If we do that, then we do run that risk that we could push even further back and maybe test some of these price support levels in here and the bottom side of that trend. So watch that closely. But I think as long as we continue to hold up in this region right in here, if we hold above this area, that black candle right here, 
hold above this area in here, I think we're in pretty good shape and we'll probably just continue to um, float along into um, the end of this month. And then if we take a look at that QQQ, now the NASDAQ has been the driver of this market and it's big tech that lifted the spy. And you can see just a unbelievably bullish move here in that spy. Now we had a bullish pattern here for sure and for certain breaking through that resistance level and then really resting for a few days and holding to the upside. So this is our current upside trend in the SPY. Now it is very steep. And when we have such a steep upside trend, you have to be a little bit worried about how that's extending to the upside. And that extension is getting really, really defined um, in this chart. As you can see, we're pretty much on a parabolic move here in QQQ. But having said that, as long as we can hold above this level here, I think we're in pretty good shape. Now, if we were to drop down below there, that would be a bit of a problem. We could be giving up this short term trend and holding above once again, that dark candle right there will be really key to holding that support. If we can hold in that range, we're probably going to be OK. If we were to fail through there, look for a test of support down in here. And that could get a little bit painful because these two days are very big moves in um, QQQ and giving those up could be pretty painful. So keep a close eye on that. We're really extended out here in the QQQ. And if we look, um, at, look how far we are stretched away from our averages. 50-day um, moving average, we are really stretched away really quickly and we're unbelievably stretched away from our 200 here in these charts. So we continue to push and push and push really hard here. And I mentioned yesterday in the Right Way Options um, room during our live session that we do every day that this is kind of giving me that flavor, that concern that this could be a blow off top. When we start seeing that kind of a bull rush, it's like everybody at the last second getting everything into the market. Now, when I say a blow off top, I want you to understand that blow off tops can last a lot longer than you could expect. If you go back and study the top that occurred in 2008, that extension, or even the one in 2000, that extension went for a long, long time. So that doesn't mean when I use the term blow off top that this is the end. We could certainly continue to extend that out. But you do want to be careful with complacency here and thinking that the market will never fall. Because one day I suspect it will, and I, one day I suspect when it does, it will be extremely painful. So just keep a close eye on that. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM had a little bit of selling yesterday and not a big surprise. This is an incredible candle here for IWM and pushing up really strongly, breaking through that resistance in the chart. So let's take a look at this. A little bit of a pullback here would not be out of the question and should have been uh, kind of expected, honestly, that we had a little bit of rest here in that move. Now, notice our only trend that we can really work with here in the chart is just completely parabolic in that move to the upside. So keep an eye on that. If we were to pull back into this support and hold, I think that is a pretty good looking chart. I don't think that we will have a high likelihood of holding this steep a trend. It may have to rest a little bit more because let's keep in mind, we have a tremendous amount of price congestion in this chart that still has to be defeated. So not exactly um, not exactly feeling like IWM is just going to race to the top. But one thing that can certainly support that or continue to support that if oil sector stocks continue to move up, they are a big weight in IWM and can certainly help an awful lot in that. So if oil continues to rally, we could see this continuing to move higher. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX continued to sell off yesterday, pushing down. There was no fear at all yesterday with that big bullish move that we saw in uh, big tech. 
um, Apple, Microsoft, Google, all stretching out new record highs in a lot of those. Um, even we saw Netflix continuing to uh, push higher, Facebook pushing higher. It was quite a day in those tech giants. And as you can see here, we were pushing back down here toward this price support level and these lows in the um, um, VIX. Now, I probably should slide this just a little bit lower because if this pushes on down into this level then we're down here testing these areas and this would make a lot more sense if we're making um, new lows in the VIX as we set these new record highs. So far we haven't been able to do that but keep a close eye on it. Um, if we were to drop down into here would continue to suggest no fear of a failure in this market and that would suggest likelihood of more highs in the indexes. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and notice that we had even though we had big tech pushing we actually had more stocks pulling back yesterday that we saw T2122 actually pull back from those um, that bearish reversal zone up here in that chart. Now keep in mind that that doesn't necessarily mean we continue and just fall right back down. It means that we've opened up an opportunity. If we can find some bullish inspiration here today, there'd be no reason why we can't push back up here in that chart. But also keep in mind that we have also created this big opening to the downside and if we find some bearish inspiration, there is that opportunity there. So overall, pretty good shape here um, in T2122, but we are just a little bit extended. And then if we take a look at our T2107. T2107, this showed us a little bit of that pressure yesterday. And notice that in this chart, we had this break to the downside in our the number of stocks above their 200 day moving average. And we did break that downtrend to the upside um, on that big push the other day and, and or on Friday. And as you can see, we pulled it back yesterday. So even though we had big tech really pushing to the upside side, notice there were quite a few stocks declining yesterday. Now that doesn't hurt anything if we can hold this downtrend. If those um, stocks that crossed above their 200 day are just coming back for a test and we were to bounce in this area and push back higher, that could be bullish for the market, so keep an eye on that. You do want to kind of keep an eye, I think, maybe on this area right here. If we were to drop back below that level, then we could see those stocks below the 200 continuing to move to the downside. Remember, once we break a downtrend, that doesn't necessarily mean that the bulls are controlling there. It was just a short-term move above. What's important is if we pull back and test that area of support and bounce off of it. So watch that carefully. And then in our T2101, the market breadth. Wow, huge market breadth. Um, stretch yesterday just really pushing up now this has been something that we haven't seen for a while where we haven't seen that big momentum in that push unfortunately it really came in in a very um, very select area of stocks where we got that big push in breadth to the upside so keep an eye on that we're pushing up here into this downtrending area we need to be able to maintain that um, in pushing today to the upside. If that doesn't maintain, then watch, we could fail right along that downtrend line. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is gonna be kind of a busy one. Um, uh, just a second, I know I have it here. There we go. Here's our economic calendar. And we, we start off, we've got a whole bunch of bond settlements and um, things going on this morning. But what we're going to want to pay attention to is this Case Shiller number here at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Then we've got the Chicago PMI. And probably more importantly is that consumer confidence. Now, if you take a look here on the Econo Day calendar, click on that consensus button right there. 
um, the website is really slow, but it will pull up here and show you that we are expecting a decline in consumer confidence today, dropping from 129 to 123. Now that may not be serious, um, but it is showing that consumer may be pulling back if that number comes in that way. And we'll want to be careful with these because we've been ignoring these um, economic data points. Uh, jobless claims rising, consumer sentiment extremely low, durable goods coming in at a negative number all of these different things we've kind of been ignoring um, you never know which one of these might be the thing that triggers um, those bears to come back to work so who knows but I do think that um, last day of the month there's going to be a pretty good effort by institutions to continue to hold this market up um, into the close of this month and then kind of keep in mind that then we start into a little bit more of a concerning period here um, on the calendar where we're going to have all of this jobs data ADP we're going to be hearing um, getting jobless claims we've got international trading goods and then that had been a big employment number coming in on Friday and it's not out of the question that we could see the market come very light become very light and choppy as we wait for that number out here on friday so watch for that as you're planning ahead let's take a look at some stocks that are in the earnings calendar today now keep in mind we do have quite a number of um, um, calendar entries we've got 21 companies on the economic calendar this morning, but we have a good deal of those that are unconfirmed small cap numbers. So um, kind of keep that in mind. There aren't all that many particularly notables this morning, but there are a few that I wanna point out. Take a look at AMBA. AMBA will be reporting today, trying to work through some of this bottoming pattern in here to see whether or not that can break out. Keep an eye on that. We've got CHS. Um, Retail is not one of those things that you would typically say is going to be a big market mover, but notice that CSS is kind of holding in this consolidating pattern in here. So this could be a very important um, earnings event to determine whether we're going to break that top up here or if we're going to break down uh, to the downside. CRWD, this is kind of a uh, favorite among um, folks in RWO. A lot of folks uh, watch this and trade this. And you can see moving up nicely through that support area heading into, or, or resistance area heading into earnings. So let's watch this. This will be important to see how this um, resolves today, whether or not we'll be pushing down in here to test support or if we zoom to the upside like we have been on a lot of earnings. Take a look at DBI. DBI is also on that list today, getting a really good pop this morning. There's a retail stock ripping it to the upside. So there's that downtrend break, guys, that little resting period out here that rests above some um, support in that chart, continuing to move on up. So I think any little rest or pullback in here after this morning's earnings could be um, an opportunity in that chart. Let's take a look at NTES. NTES also reporting today. Again, not exactly a major notable here, but there is something interesting in this chart to pay attention to. Notice that we do have this inverted head and shoulders pattern that's trying to play out. And the bullishness here this morning could break that neckline in that chart. So watch that if that neckline breaks, if we can prove to hold, there may be some upside opportunity in there on NTES. And last but not least, uh, PVH will be reporting today. Um, interesting little chart here in the fact that we've got this very um, odd looking, um, wedge pattern, almost a pennant pattern um, in that chart. And we're wound up here pretty tight. So we're in that place where we have this opportunity. We A good earnings report, we could pop through, start moving up or break down. There is a candlestick pattern here, and this is my own candlestick pattern. And you're not gonna find this in any book. Um, this right here, I call an Oreo cookie, where we get um, black candle, 
white candle in between black candle uh, on the other side of it. These typically lead to the downside. Now the difference would on this would be the, that earnings report that could change things, but the Oreo cookie pattern typically suggests more downside coming in a chart. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon every time, uh, <laughs> click that bell icon so that every time I post one of these videos, you'll be notified that I have done so. And also, if you believe the video was worthy, please click that um, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. And um, I just want to say thank you. There's so many folks that are um, just continuously support the content of this channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You know, there is a difference here. No hype, no drama, no prediction. Let's just take a look at the charts and see what the charts tell us. And I just never thought that there'd be this many folks that would support this kind of content. So thank you so much for those who do that. I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And for those of you that continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video, you guys are truly amazing. Thank you very, very much. Um, hopefully real soon you'll start seeing some changes to the channel. Um, um, as a result of that, you guys, um, you impress me every day. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at um, a few stocks that are setting up. And please keep in mind, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and make sure, make sure that you're never ever blindly following anyone else's trade ideas. That is always a bad idea. Let's take a look here. Um, I, I mentioned AMD yesterday and AMD is just in this beautiful pattern. It pushed up yesterday and although it pulled back or pushed up the day before on Friday, pulled back a little bit yesterday, I don't think there's anything wrong with this chart yet. Notice this is a beautiful upside trend. So the fact that you might not have gotten immediate gratification on this and this pullback, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Watch this little resting place in here. If that can hold right into this trend, watch for that next opportunity for AMD to the upside. That looks pretty darn good. I would watch that pretty closely. Um, I think it would also be a really good idea um, to, to be taking a look at these healthcare sector stocks. Healthcare sector showing lots and lots of strength here. Beautiful upside trend. And I mentioned yesterday um, on healthcare to watch this in here to see if that would react to trend here in the chart. And by golly, it did. Pushed right up here off of that trend looking higher. I would keep a close eye on that. Looks like we've got just a little bit of bearishness coming in this morning at this little price resistance. But watch that carefully. If this can continue to push on higher, you may have something nice here. And if the market gets a little bit funky, um, if we do see some selling, then healthcare is one of those things that tends to say, relatively strong overall in the charts. Let's take, and by the way, really quickly, you can just jump right into a list here on TC2000 and go right to stocks that are pushing that up and um, can easily find some individual trades very, very quickly. Let's take a look at Fastenal. Now Fastenal, I mentioned this one yesterday in the morning prep, and I specifically pointed out this nice little hammer pattern after we broke down, broke support, rallied back, and hold, held it as support. A little hammer where we pushed down and tested that support almost to the tick, and then started to reverse back up. Take a look at Fastenal breaking out yesterday, holding a nice bullish candle. So here's our new trend in that chart. Now don't be too surprised if this has to, you know, just rest or back and fill in here, but let's keep an eye on that. See if that can continue that move to the upside. Fasten all looking pretty good um, overall. Um, you, obviously we have to be taking a look at some of these big techs. Um, Apple, extremely strong. 
I would suspect after such a big move that it rests a little bit, but there's no denying how strong this chart is to the upside. So any rest or consolidation in here, very, very bullish. Microsoft, extremely strong, very, very bullish chart pattern right here, pushing to the upside. Watch for that opportunity that Microsoft can push right on through here and continue to extend to the upside. So really good charts in that big tech sector. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I should mention a couple others just really quick. Um, take a look at Mo. Um, MO, I, I've been mentioning this before, MO is one of those trades that I really like where we break those downtrends, we hold that support. Um, um, HR, or RWO is in this trade and we're looking really good at the moment on this position. Um, I would expect a rest or pullback here soon, but watch that closely. Uh, Mo, defensive sector stock, if the market gets a little bit spooked, um, big dividend payers like this tend to be a place where folks will gravitate. So watch that. And um, BTU, BTU also had a little bit of a push down yesterday, but ended up pushing right on through to the upside. So we're holding in here off of this trend, looking good, broke through. Everything's looking pretty good here in BTU. So with that, guys, a little bit long on the video here. There will be no blog today. Thank you so much. I wish you all the very best, and I apologize this for going to be late. Have a great day. Have great profits in your trading, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.